Chewing forks and their boxes are very well matched to one another. What I mean by that is that the resonance curve of the tuning fork box has a very sharp resonance precisely at the frequency of the tuning fork. So this particular one is a 288 hertz tuning fork and matching box. So if I hit the tuning fork, I can see a very loud, very good sinusoidal wave as the tuning fork oscillates and the box acts like an amplifier because it's resonating, absorbing all of that energy and vibrating and putting into motion all of the air that's inside that big box that's a lot bigger than the little air than the two little tines can move by themselves. So if we do a simple comparison of playing it just in my hand or in contact with the box, you will see that the loudness is very different. The volume of the sound produced is very different because this box resonates and therefore amplifies the sound. Out of contact, soft sound. In contact, louder sound. Loud, soft, loud, soft. Same thing identically happens with the 440 hertz fork. And so if I take it off, I hit it on the table, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, I'm going to shut up. Even when we can barely hear it, the microphone and the oscilloscope are still perfectly able to pick it up. Okay, what happens now if we mismatch them? So if I try and touch the 440 hertz tuning fork on the 288 resonance curve box, well, in principle, 440 is off resonance, is not at that peak absorption for that particular box, therefore, it's not as good an amplifier, and so it's going to be very small, amplification, very small loudness of the sound, very small volume of the sound that we hear and loudness that we perceive when I touch it to the 288 and much louder when I go to 440. So I'm going to show you loud, soft, loud, soft and shut up while I do that. Let me show the other one, 288, and I'm going to show you loud, soft, loud, soft. Very nicely matched. Thank you.